Hello everyone, Lawrence here from Unicorn Reviews. Finally, we have our AMD Ryzen chips because AMD has risen from the grave because they were pretty much dead. So this is the Ryzen 7 1700 non-X because I don't really see the point in buying the X. It's just the XFR extended frequency response and we don't really need them. Uh, other than the 1700X, this one does come with a CPU cooler, um, so we'll have a look at that as well. There's not much here, just some warranty stuff. And then through this window, you can see our Ryzen chip. Finally, we can see the Ryzen chip. I'm so stoked about this. Uh, it comes with the RAID cooler that we saw already before um, with the 7800K, I think it was. So get our label here, let's just open it. So this is eight cores, 16 threads, 20 megabytes of cache. Um, and it's clogged between 3 and 3.7 gigahertz. Let's open it up with my old cheese knife. There we go. It's a very big box compared to normal CPU boxes because of course the, uh, the new Wraith cooler is a lot bigger. The Ryzen chip comes in this separate little piece of cardboard. We'll put that to the side, hope we don't drop it because that would be an expensive failure. Um, but then in this box we get our cooler. So this is the Wraith cooler. I'm gonna have to use this one uh, this evening because my Noctua NHD 15 um, is arriving tomorrow. So I don't have a giant CPU cooler yet and I'm not a big fan of water cooling as we all know. So this is what our cooler looks like. We got a braided cable over here. That's really nice to have. Rather big fan for a standard cooler. There's also an LED strip. So it is, I think it was an RGB one. Yeah, so there's a, a little flap up here, um, which you can open. There we go. And then over here, we have an additional cable. And this cable plugs into your motherboard's RGB headers on one side. This side goes into your CPU cooler. And then we can have RGB lighting on our stock CPU cooler. I mean, AMD is already beating the crap out of Intel, really, because Intel doesn't have RGB stock coolers. So, GG. Was there something else in the box? No, nope, this is just a bit of a riser from cardboard. Let's have a look at the actual chip itself. So in this box, we get our sticker and our CPU. So stoked. Paperwork, installation instructions. I mean, you just drop it in there. It's not that hard. And then we have our CPU. Cool, right? So finally, Ryzen is here, the 1700. So I will be doing a full review of the uh, Ryzen chips, of motherboards, of different graphics card configurations, overclocking, that sort of stuff. If you want to see that, hit that subscribe button. If you like this video already, press that like button. If you didn't, also hit the subscribe button for when my videos are released that you will like. I promise you will like them. If you want more pictures of Ryzen chips, motherboards, graphics cards, I also have a really interesting box right behind me. There's Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for more frequent updates. Uh, also, if you want to support the channel, there's a Patreon link for that. So go ahead and check that out. Uh, for now, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.